present today as someone who carries within him the true aspirations of Zeon. Hello everyone and welcome to the shop of Zeon. And in today's video we're taking a look at my mother's cosplay for MegaCon Orlando. That's right, you heard me right. My mother is cosplaying for the first time at this year's MegaCon here in Orlando. A couple months ago she said, Hey, when are you going to make me a costume? I said, I didn't know you wanted me to make you a costume. So I knew that um, I wanted to do a Wasteland theme this year, and so I just decided you know, to go ahead and do the same thing with her so we have similar style outfits. We're going to go over the outfit. Uh, you guys will see some work in progress pics as I talk, and we'll take a look at this costume. This is the most interesting costume. Of course, we have my Titan armor over there and the lovely mannequin. This is more uh, clothing, costuming, secondhand stuff, thrift store, uh, stuff from Wish, uh, just all kind of stuff. So we're going to go over everything here, tell you how I did it, what I used, and let's take a look here. So as you guys can see, we have a pretty light Wasteland cosplay. No heavy armor on this one. The most heavy thing is probably this mask here. And you guys may recognize this mask. This is from Mad Max Fury Roads and Morton Joe's mask. I got it from X Cozer uh, when it was on sale. This comes all black and I painted all of this. And I really like the paint job on this, especially the ugly yellow teeth. I wanted to do yellow teeth on this. Um, and I also have some yellow on the jacket here to match. But I really like the way this paint job came out. This was done with Tamiya Paints. Uh, we have uh, metallic brown. We have yellow. This is uh, Rub and Buff. We have uh, uh, metallic gray. Uh, we have, I think this is a copper or uh, I forget what this is. might be copper. And I just really like the way this came out. Uh, washed it with uh, black and brown shoe polish, so that's what the w aging is here that you can see. And this thing just looks super vicious. Then, of course, it comes with these hoses. I used a lot of desert yellow in weathering the cosplay clothes in this one. And desert yellow here was, uh, I wanted to use a brown, but it wasn't showing up. So I used this desert yellow and I used it quite a bit. Now, we'll go and take a look at the back of this thing here. We have this backpack here. This was bought from a local Goodwill, and it was a very interesting bag. I saw it, I was like, oh, that's perfect. It, I liked it. It had uh, like this tweed material, it had this leather, it had this uh, suede over here. A lot of different uh, colors, but it had that same, you know, color scheme like in a wasteland. So I decided to go ahead and weather this. Uh, for this, I used, um, I think it was burnt umber acrylic paint, black acrylic paint, that desert yellow, like you see. Of course, uh, we got some duct tape on there. Uh, this is from the uh, two guns that I made, leftover uh, tank top here. And just a lot of different weathering. I did a little bit of damage on it, but I like this bag so much. I didn't want to damage it too much. Just a lot of aging and weathering on this. Especially the desert yellow um, on this pack. It looks so good on the brown leather. And it just highlights these wrinkles and everything that it has. And I really like the way that this came out. And it's convenient, you know, because now we have a place to store stuff while we are cosplaying around Megacon. And then I have her hoses going into underneath the bag here, like, like that. And as you can see, I didn't weather the whole thing. I just weathered it for when it's closed. All right, now let's take a look at this uh, next piece. We have this scarf piece here. This was bought from the Salvation Army. This was like a dollar. And I weathered this with um, uh, some coffee, some brown acrylic paint, some washed out black, so it toned down the whites a bit. Uh, it's not as dirty as I wanted it to be, but it is a lot darker than what it was. It was a really bright white before, and I like it. It's like these uh, messy scarves that are like in in nowadays, and it's all frayed and stitching is loose and stuff. It's a pretty cool 
cool piece uh, for this costume. Now we have this leather jacket. I bought this from Salvation Army as well. Funny enough, uh, this is actually a little girl's jacket. It's an extra large, but extra large in girls apparently fits my mom, which is hilarious. Um, but I, so I, I got this at a Salvation Armor. This was like four. This was seven ninety nine, but it was fifty percent off, so I got it for four bucks. And again, I aged this. This was a mix of brown oil paint with some yellow oil paint, as you can see in here. This was yellow uh, Tamiya uh, acrylic paint. This uh, on the edges is I think it's khaki by Tamiya is what I used. Uh, I went to the Army Surplus store and we got a nice Air Force rank that we used, and I stitched it. Not on purpose, but whatever. It's crooked, uh, but it doesn't matter, I guess. You know, wasteland and all that. Uh, we have this fur here. This was from, uh, if you guys have seen my video on my Destiny Fusion Rifle, this is the leftover fur from that. Then we come over here, and I made a shoulder pauldron here. So this is a belt. I also bought it at Salvation Army for like $2. And this piece here is actually the visor from my helmet. I wasn't using it, so I said, you know what? That would make a really uh, cool shoulder pauldron and it already had the industrial snaps on this side because that's how it attaches to the helmet. So I bought the same size snaps and I was able to snap it into the belt. This comes off and the belt comes off as well. Um, it's snapped on. I don't want to rip it here but you can remove this belt uh, to clean the jacket or, or whatever you want. And again more weathering with uh, oil paints, browns and stuff. Uh, painting on the uh, the belt and everything. I feel like the belt in in video doesn't look as weathered as it is for whatever reason. Uh, then we have a tank top. This is an old tank top of mine. I uh, damaged it a bit more than what it was. And again, same thing. Uh, brown paints, black paints, uh, desert yellow for these highlights. I, I used a... Um, a drill bit used for grinding out wood. Uh, I'll show that to uh, make these damages. I've seen a lot of people. I've looked up a lot of post-apocalyptic weathering, and a lot of people were doing that. So I decided to go ahead and do that. Then we have these really cool faux leather gauntlets here. Uh, these were bought off Wish. Uh, I want to say they were like thirteen dollars, something like that. And then same thing, just a little bit of scratching, aging. Black paint. Uh, this was a mix of brown and yellow. You can see some of the yellow here. And yeah, just pretty simple stuff. Uh, we have a pair of black pants. These are a pair of old pants my mother donated for this, as, as well as the boots down here. And same thing, more weathering, more tearing. Uh, I highlighted all of the seams with that desert yellow to make it pop a bit. Just a lot of detail in these pants. And then for the belt, we do have a green belt that has also been weathered and whatnot. Here's the other leg. Sun is in, in my eyes. Then we have these boots, also donated by my mother. She doesn't wear these anymore. These were perfect. And again, just same colors I've been using. Brown, blacks, desert yellow. Making it look all nice and dirty. And I really like doing the seams in this desert yellow on black. It really makes the seams uh, pop out. Uh, like, you know, as you can see here, the, the wrinkles and whatnot. Uh, and that was hand brushed. I'm going to be airbrushing my costume because it's a bit bigger, obviously. And uh, I, I thought of that after I hand brushed all this crap. Uh, airbrushing might have been way easier and way less paint. And then let's take a look at her weapon of choice that we have made for her. Alright guys, and this is uh, my mom's weapon. This is a, I forget the name, but this is actually a Nerf gun, believe it or not. It shoots Nerf arrows. And there's a, a series of guns that Nerf makes that's like a Borderlands, Wasteland-ish theme. And they are just so freaking cool. And so I, I have a bigger crossbow for myself from the same line. And I thought that this was just perfect. We both have crossbows and she has the little one. Actually, it would be kind of funny, though, if she had the big one, wouldn't it? Um, but for this, a lot of different paints. We have aluminum paint by all uh, by Tamiya. We have gold by Tamiya. We have a copper, uh, not by Tamiya. I forget the name of the paint. We have uh, gunmetal. We have metallic gray. We have silver rubbin buff. Uh, we have metallic brown. All kind of stuff here. And uh, we have that remainder of that shirt wrapped around the handle. 
and uh, black and brown shoe polish for the weathering. Again, I'm loving the black and brown shoe polish weathering. Uh, I think it's great for stuff like this. And it's really easy, really cheap. And yes, this thing does still fire. Yeah, you heard that? This thing hurts. All right guys, so that does it for this Wasteland cosplay. All in all, this was a pretty cheap cosplay. Uh, $4 for the jacket, $14 or so for the gloves, the same for the mask, and everything else uh, was donated. Oh, the scarf was a dollar, and that belt was $2. So what, under, let's say about a $45, $50 cosplay, roughly, uh, the bag on the back from Goodwill, I think this was like $5.99, something like that. So still, like I said, about a $50 cosplay here, and just a lot of distressing, a lot of paint. Uh, believe it or not, I still want to add to this. Guys, let me know what else I can do. I, I'm going to start testing out Fuller's Earth as a weathering agent. And I might be adding that to this costume as well. But I really like the way this turned out. And my mom looks really freaking creepy in it. So it's really cool. Uh, the only other part of this costume is going to be some black grease makeup for her eyes. She's, I'm going to go with a Furiosa type uh, of, of just a swipe across the eyes. So thank you all so much for watching. I will be posting pictures of Megacon with my mother dearest soon. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comments below. Also like the video and share it around with other cosplay enthusiasts and whatnot. Help me out. Spread my art around. It means the world to me. Subscribe for more creative content. If you want to support me by buying a Destiny t-shirt, go to designbyhumans.com. It'll be at the end of this video and in the description. Or you can go to my Patreon to throw a couple bones my way, or some bottle caps in this case. Once again, thank you so much for watching, stay creative, and as always, Zik Zion! finished our day cosplaying. My mother cosplayed for the first time. Did you have fun? It was awesome. It's definitely awesome. I'd do it again. What you really? <laughs>